till you came I was breathless when we first met Couldn't keep my hands away I was speechless when we first met, yeah start this vlog here I haven't even like touched my first fueling and my well I've had one sip of my coffee and it's clutch I've got my golden chocolate chip pancake right here and I've got my coffee my pancake looks delicious it looks perfect almost every time I feel like I really have this down to a science which is awesome um, and I will show you I mean this is a pretty good pancake like if I rip it open watch this pretty fluffy pretty moist it's gonna be delish and my coffee is like frothed to perfection but I am here to tell you that I am already so stuffed <laughs> I am not even hungry for this I'm like having a hard time fathoming eating my food today <laughs> okay so for anybody who is like kind of behind or hasn't seen my last vlog I have officially switched things up I have completely shifted like what I'm doing with my Optavia 5-in-1 plan just so that I can like really really run towards a big event that I have going on in the end of April and I want to get as much weight off as I possibly can I want to do it as efficiently as possible I want to like run that being said I've been choosing my lean and green meals from the top categories of the leans and the greens so I've been choosing from the leanest category of meat and I've been choosing from the lowest carbohydrate veggies the top like two-ish categories of veggies I'll explain that in a second and then I've been like minimizing my condiments I've been like choosing primo healthy fats like I've been trying to like really make a shift to be as like clean as possible also I just woke up welcome to my day and I've been doing this for like I think it's been a week and a half almost most. Started this officially on like Tuesday last week and it's officially Thursday following week. I don't know. I guess you could say a week and a half. And when I first, first started this, I mean, I was feeling really good. I had more energy than ever. Like I, my fat burn energy was like on another level. Like I don't even know what the heck got into me, but like I was like there. Okay. That was, that was the first like week-ish. <sighs> you guys, this is so much fun. Anybody who thinks that they're gonna be hungry on the Optavia 5-in-1 plan, I challenge you. <laughs> like, oh my god, you guys, I literally just woke up and I am already full and I haven't even eaten yet. <laughs> like, I don't, I can't even explain to you how full I feel right now and to the point where like it's excessive like I don't even want to eat but I'm forcing myself to eat so anyway let's get that out of the bag right now like literally if you feel like you're starving on the five-in-one plan you are doing it wrong okay here's where I'm at I'm gonna share with you guys another Optavia five-in-one plan full what I eat in a day but I am eating from the leanest and the lowest categories and that means all of my greens are basically leafy greens and that means all of my protein is the leanest, like almost 0% fat in that category. Like there's like very tiny traces of fat in the top category. So basically what that means is you get more of everything, more meat, more greens. And it is a lot to process you guys. Like I am still so bloated from yesterday. <laughs> Like, I'm just giving you the real real nobody asked for it or maybe you did if anybody wants the real real I'm just giving it to you right now because like I am so full right now and I can't I'm like looking at this pancake and it looks delicious but like 
This is a lot of food, you guys. I can't even. I'm gonna share with you guys what I've been doing that works for me to be able to maintain this leanest and lowest lifestyle. I will tell you what, there's a way to make this plan work totally fine if you have a full-time job or if you have other things going on or you don't work from home or whatever it is. You can totally do this and you can stick to whatever category you want. I am just trying my absolute best to stick to the top to stick to the cleanest, to be as efficient as I possibly can. And that being said, it's just a little bit more testing than I was expecting, so I'm telling you the real real. If anybody is doing this journey with me, welcome. Are you stuffed? <laughs> Anyway, so I am having to split up my greens and my leans, leanest, all throughout the day just so I can get it all in, just so I can swallow it and just get done with it. Like that's where I'm at. And here's the thing, like I have a lot of clients in our tribe that will like go through their first week and by like day five, day six even, they'll ask us, they'll be like, do I have to eat the last fueling? Do I have to finish the lean and green? Like I'm full, right? Like you're satisfied. That's what I was saying. If anybody thinks you're gonna be hungry, you are not gonna be hungry, you're gonna be fine. And yes, you have to finish it because if you don't, your body's not getting enough calories. Like you are seriously depleting your body of what it needs if you don't finish your fuelings and your leaning green. And so I'm always like, yes, yes, you have to finish. Thank God you're not choosing from these categories. <laughs> like I have to finish because if I don't, I won't get enough calories for the day. My body will be super confused and not sure if it should be storing fat or burning fat. And I won't get enough protein and you guys, protein is crucial. If you don't get enough protein, your skin starts to not look right, your hair starts to feel a little weird, like everything in your body gets very weird if you don't get enough protein, right? So you've gotta finish. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to finish. <laughs> oh man, so good morning. That's where I'm at right now. I figured I'd start this vlog here. I've got some stuff going on today, but to be, uh, to be completely honest with you, my day pretty much revolves around food right now. And I'll share with you as we go throughout the day. If you guys are trying to do the same thing, I will show you what I've been doing just to scarf down the protein and the greens the best that I possibly can and just like get it done. I also have found a couple hacks just in the last, you know, week or so. I've already like been finding a way to like make this easier and make it better and make it taste better. So I have a couple tricks up my sleeve um, that I want to share with you guys that I've been doing to make this work. But that being said, I just wanted to welcome you to today's vlog. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I'm hoping this bloat, this like set of twins that I'm apparently having today is going to go away and we're going to be feeling much, much better. But I'm going to take you guys along for the journey. I am still fully, fully confident that this is what's going to get me to my goals. I just think my body's adjusting right now. I think give it another week or so, I probably won't be feeling this stuffed and I'll be like okay with the amount of food, but it's rough right now and I'm gonna vlog it for you and I hope, I hope this helps someone who is feeling my same pain. So I'm gonna finish up my pancake. I'm gonna scarf it down. I'm gonna figure out how to get it down. I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna do a couple things on my computer and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys for fueling number two where we're gonna make food again. Thank you so much for dealing with me today. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys supporting me on the journey, whatever that looks like, and I'm here to support your journey too. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay tuned for all of the shenanigans. I'm excited for what this next like 90 days holds because I know it's gonna be fantastic. All I gotta do is scarf down this pancake. <laughs> I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna Because we wanna, we wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun The trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up Have the time of our lives The night is in young Don't need anybody else We came to party all night long And we don't need no chaperone We don't need nobody's attention Yeah, we just wanna
fueling number two. <sighs> Okay, I'm feeling a little less full than I did this morning, which is good. Um, I'm thinking I can get through at least half of this, but I'm gonna like push through to make the whole thing happen. So let me explain what this is. This is the cheddar, buttermilk cheddar herb biscuit. This is one fueling and I made it with four tablespoons of water so that I could split it into two pieces. You can see a top and a bottom to my little egg sandwich. Now I love egg sandwiches. Like my mom, that was like my thing when I was a kid. And I am actually really pumped that I can have like a makeshift egg sandwich on my plan. Not that I'm hungry for it, <laughs> but this is gonna be my fueling number two plus a portion of my leanest protein for the day. So like I said, I am splitting up my leans and my greens throughout the day merely because I think I can only get them in that way. Like I can't have all of them in one sitting. It's just way too much food. So I'm splitting them up by all means. Don't split yours up if you don't have to. Like keep things easy, keep things simple. If you feel like you're doing too much math, you're doing it wrong. You know what I mean? Like this is for like if you've been on plan for a while and you really need to like shift things up and you want to move things forward in a different way, this is what I'm I'm doing so I have to split up my leans and my greens as long as I'm sticking to eating six times a day fueling my metabolism every two to three hours that's what counts so I have one fueling here with my buttermilk cheddar or biscuit and then I have half a cup of egg substitute in between it and I literally just like no seasonings nothing I just put it in the pan with a little bit of olive oil spray and it's done half a cup of my egg substitute is going to count as a quarter of my leanest for today. Let me let me put this into perspective. This is just a quarter. All of this egg is just a quarter of my leanest. <laughs> like I still have three quarters to go today, but like I'm trying to split it up just so I can get it in. So this is a quarter of my leanest plus my fueling. I'm gonna get in the rest of my leans and my greens throughout the day, but this is gonna be what I have for fueling number two. I'm not hungry enough for this right now, but I'm gonna eat the whole thing because I know that's what I need and I know that's what's gonna get me the results that I want. So. I am going to get my makeup on. I'm gonna finish getting ready. I have a nail appointment today. I am so ready for a new nail appointment. I loved this color, but like, I really need to get them done. They're growing out so bad. So I have no idea what color I'm gonna get. I'll have to let you guys know, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. I got a couple calls and I will keep you guys in the loop for what's to happen for the rest of these leans and these greens, because no matter what, we're gonna get them all in. We're gonna find a way, we're gonna make it happen because that's what we do. So I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. this like pinky nude color. I was just like kind of feeling it. Whenever I go there, I kind of just like go off of my gut. And then I really, really like this like almond shape that I always ask for. Um, I feel like it, it looks almost beige in the sunlight, but it is more of like a pinky baby pink nude. I'll see if I can get like better lighting for you guys, but I really like them. I feel like it just, it's good. It's like a fresh new set for the new year. I'm feeling it. Okay. So I need to have another feeling and I need to tell you guys about this bar. So this is the dark chocolate coconut curry bar coconut curry bar with almonds and sea salt. That is a mouthful. This might actually be my new favorite bar. Like I seriously, like it's the chewy consistency of the silky peanut butter bar, but like elevated. It's on the select section of the site. Like so, so good. You guys, I seriously think this might be like my favorite. I am going to have this now for fueling number three. We're on fueling number three. And I seriously, ever since we got this, cause we placed like a small order recently just for like bars. And ever since we got this, I've been craving it like every single day. So I'm pumped for this, believe it or not. I'm like, I'm normally not this excited to have a bar, but uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I'm going to fuel up. I'm on the go. I'm going to have a bar really Really quick. I may make a couple other stops before we go home and then I will check in with you guys when we get home. 
We got some packages today and I figured I'd show you guys what we got. These are just some things that we were like running low on. I think this is some skincare and some stuff for my ninja, I think. I don't know. Anyway, figured I'd show you guys what we got. I remember ordering this from Target and especially since we've been doing more and more shakes lately, like I do shakes, Zach does shakes, like we just have shakes all throughout the day and all I have for my Ninja kitchen system and I love that thing, like don't get me wrong, we literally use it every single day. I use the big pitcher and Zach uses the tumblers and Honestly, I just need more of those. So I figured I would start looking for some extra tumblers just like as we're in a shake phase, you know? And they had these on Target and so I figured I'd pick them up. They were pretty cheap because ours are just always dirty. Like one of us has always used it and like whatever. So, oh cool. Okay, I was not expecting this to actually be like the Ninja brand. Cool, so this is two tumblers that you can just blend on the kitchen system um, that work perfectly with what we have. We have the Ninja Auto IQ. So this is two extras so that when our other ones are dirty, we have like, you know, some to spare. This is only like 15 bucks, not bad. I mean, for us like being able to make more shakes, this is gonna be great. That was from Target. Then I placed a little order on Sephora just because I am running low on some of my skincare. I need to do like a full like skincare routine for you guys, like updated just because lots has changed. If you guys have been here for a while, you'll know that I did have contact dermatitis at the beginning of when we were at, I think when we were in Phoenix and that was no fun. So I have been on like a skin journey for a while now and I am like very particular about what I put on my skin because it's so sensitive now. So I will film like a full updated skincare routine in case anybody's interested in that or has also sensitive skin. But I picked up a couple things from Sephora. I like that they let you pick your samples. I think that's cool. I picked the Giorgio Armani like foundation samples just because I've heard that's really good. I'll have to try it at some point. And this Tan Luxe Super Glow self-tan like stuff for your face. That could be good, we'll see. And I had like a bonus freebie. So I got a free Clinique quick liner. So this is black eyeliner. I like using regular eyeliner on my lower lash line. So that'll be great. I was running really low. Okay, so here's what I ordered. I needed some new moisturizer and I have since been really liking this Moisture Surge 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator. This is my moisturizer that I put on like after all of my skincare. I just feel like this is the most hydrating one that I found and it's still decently affordable as opposed to me like going all out and spending like hundreds of dollars on a moisturizer. This one has been good and I ordered actually a bigger size this time which is good because I actually really do use this every single day. So it looks like this and I literally just use like a dab on the end of my fingernail and I put it mostly on the top of my face because I also got a toner. So I've been using this clarifying lotion for acne solutions. Um, and I feel like my skin has really cleared up. I mean, I will say if anybody is struggling with like acne prone skin, the number one thing you should be focusing on is cleaning up your diet. Like if you are not eating the right stuff or if you're not getting the right amount of water, your skin will show it 100%. So I have been using this to help clear it up and I will literally just do this toner right on this, this underneath chin area. This is where I get a lot of like hormonal acne and stuff like that. I do still get like a breakout here and there when it's like around my period and stuff like that. But this is what kind of like maintains it and has been working so far. So this acne solutions clarifying lotion step two, this was just from Sephora, but you can get this like off Amazon or whatever. And I only do this bottom section of my skin because I don't want to dry it out. If I do it up here, this is actually where my dermatitis was. It dries it out insanely and I can't do that. So I only do it on the areas that I feel like I need it. I focus my moisturizer on these top areas. I kind of let this dry out. I'll still dab it a little bit with moisturizer, but I don't like do a bunch and like rub it in. This moisturizer is mostly just for the top part of my face, so got a new toner and some new moisturizer. Not new, like I've been using this for the past like at least month or so, maybe two months. I started using this in Houston. Um, so I've been using it for a while, but I have since run out and I needed some more. And then for the most exciting package of all, I needed some new Nespresso pods, you guys. And I have been trying to figure out 
what my Nespresso taste is gonna be. Comment down below if you also have an espresso and what your favorite flavor is. I've heard several suggestions. And currently I've been using the Veranda Blonde from Starbucks. It's actually from Target, but it's the Starbucks brand. And it's pretty good, I mean, I like it. I just liked that I could find it at Target. I didn't have to worry about ordering it if I ran out. But we were running low, so I decided to see if I could find some Nespresso pods on Amazon, and I did. So it came with three packs like this, and this is the Melozio. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is three packs of 10, I think. And it looks like this. I think there are 10 pods in here. It's for the Nespresso Virtuo Next, which is what I have. I've been really just trying to find the best combo for my coffee in the mornings. And this one, I think I tried in the sample pack and it was pretty good. So I'm thinking I'll give it another shot, but they look like this. They're this like pretty bronzy, almost like rose gold color. So yeah, we'll have to try that out in our coffee tomorrow. That is all of our packages for today. I've got a couple other packages that I heard were delivered. Zach's home from his workout. I had a couple other packages get delivered, but I didn't see them downstairs. So I'm gonna have to reach out and see if we got another code for that. We have to like retrieve our packages from a locker here. I've never had to do that before, but that's what we do. So that is everything that we got for now. Next, I think I'm gonna make my lean and green, like my actual lean and green. I know I've been like splitting it up, but I do have a time during the day where I actually have a lean and green. So I'm gonna make that next and I will show you guys how we do it. You wanna say hey? Hey. Hey. Say you don't wanna be with me, but you miss me as soon as it's over. You name that enough the screen, but you never call when you're sober. You say you don't like the games, but you play me like there's no tomorrow. You should know. favorite thing to make for my lean and greens and it is homemade kale chips. Okay, I had this idea just the other day and I was like trying to figure out how in the heck am I gonna get all of these greens in for the day? Like this is so much green. I don't know if I can really stick to three shakes a day just to put my spinach in it. Like it's just a lot. So this is like the most recent idea that I've had. Um, honestly, they're freaking delicious. And I'm still like perfecting this recipe. Like I'm still playing around with it, but so far this is what's been working for me. So for my first portion of green for today, I do two servings of kale baked, which technically is in the middle category. I want to say that's moderate carbohydrate veggie. Kale and just any leafy greens is like the best possible thing that you can have as far as like greens for your plan. So I'm doing two servings of kale, which I do this on a scale just because that's easiest for me when I'm baking this and it makes more sense. So I put it on my scale and it measures out to 67 grams of kale for two servings. And I literally just put it on the parchment paper. You guys saw I take off the stems. Um, I actually just love that Target sells chopped kale like this. And I don't know if any other stores do this, but I love that they do that. I don't even have to worry about getting the actual kale. I can just get a bag of chopped kale. I take out the stems. I measure out of the actual like leaves and I break up any like big leaves that I need to. Of the actual leaves, I will measure out the 67 grams and then I will do a light spray of my olive oil spray you guys just saw. And then I do like the tiniest, tiniest, pinch of salt. Like you really don't need very much at all. Like it really goes a long way. So that's gonna be my two servings of green for my fourth eating time of today. Then I also have been making ground turkey, 99% fat free ground turkey, and I already have some prepped for today. I always make a full pound and whenever I make a full pound, I have leftovers. So I just kind of like keep it and then make more when I need to. This is 3.5 ounces of ground turkey. I've already weighed it and everything. 3.5 ounces of my 99% fat-free ground turkey is going to equal half of my leanest portion for today. So if you do the math, after this, I'm still going to need one green serving and one quarter of my leanest serving for the day after this. This is what I'm gonna be having for my lean and green. And then over my turkey, I do two tablespoons of, I've been really liking this dressing. I've been doing two tablespoons of my light balsamic vinaigrette. 
This has been like really good. You guys don't have to keep salad dressings just for salads. I'm just saying you can put it on anything and it counts as a healthy fat. Two tablespoons of this version counts as one healthy fat serving. So again, because I'm choosing from my leanest category of meat, I am going to have to add one more healthy fat for the day, which I will put into my shake later on. But I have just compiled all of my kale ready to go on my sheet pan with my parchment paper and I put it in the oven at 275 for 15 minutes. After that, I'm gonna pull it out, flip it around, and then put it in for 10 more minutes, and it's gonna be completely done. You guys will hear, I'll share with you how crinkly and like perfect the kale chips are. Like, I can literally scarf down this entire two servings of kale in like five minutes. Like, it really goes fast because of the way that you bake it. So anyway, this is what I've been loving. I'm not doing a full recipe video yet because I'm still perfecting this recipe, and it's just something I've been trying out for funsies for the past few days, but that's gonna be my leaning green for today. I do have a call like really soon. So I wanted to make sure I explain this before I have to like jump on that call. But after 15 minutes goes by, like I said, I'm just going to pull out my kale. I'm going to flip it around and then put it back in for 10 minutes. It's going to be all crinkly and perfect and delicious. And then I'm just going to warm up my 3.5 ounces of my turkey, put on two tablespoons of my balsamic vinaigrette for one healthy fat. And that's going to be it. That's all I need for my leaning green. Obviously I'm spreading it out, but that's gonna be my lean and green meal time for today. And then I'll show you guys how I put the rest of that stuff into my shake. So I'll check back in with you guys when my kale is done. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. And every time I trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you have and share with you my fueling number five. I am feeling less full. I feel like my body is like slowly getting used to this. It's very strange. I mean, this is like really just rounding out the full like rest of my lean and grain meal. So this fueling number five, my caramel macchiato shake fueling. It is one teaspoon of flaxseed oil for one healthy fat. So it's my second healthy fat of the day and I needed two altogether. It's eight ounces of water, a handful of ice. It's a cup of spinach, which is my third green for today. So I'm done with my greens. And then just to top it all off, it is three ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. This is how I've been able to get my full lean and green in. And like I said, I feel like my body is like slowly getting used to this. It doesn't feel like normal to be eating this much, but this is what what I really feel like I need to be doing in order to like really run at this right now. So this is my final fueling. I did have fueling number four, my cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake, which you guys already saw, but this is my last fueling to round out my fuelings and my full lean and green meal so that I have currently gotten all five fuelings. I've gotten all 64 ounces of my water in and I have gotten a full serving of my leanest protein as well as three greens and two healthy fats. Now I know this is a lot of math so I don't really recommend this for anybody who is like brand new to plan. Like if you're brand new to program and you're just starting out and you're trying to figure out what works best for you, just find a way that this makes sense for you. Meaning if it means the leaner category, the lean category, the leanest, whatever, do what makes sense to you and your plan, a way for you to stick 
stick to it that's easy and convenient. I'm kicking things up a notch and I'm trying to do everything I possibly can to have the cleanest journey that I can right now because I'm running hard towards a big event that I've got going on in April. So this is how I'm doing it and I am sharing the journey with you all along the way. I'm glad you guys are watching and you're liking this content. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys very, very soon. And I cannot wait to continue this healthy journey with you, especially going into 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.